In today's video, I'm going to be painting some Easter bunnies. That may sound a little strange, you might be asking. Am I painting real Easter bunnies? No, I'm not. I'm going to be painting these Easter bunnies. And I got this a little, sort of a little while ago. And it is now officially spring. It's not super close to Easter. I guess it's like a month away, I think. So it's a little early, but we can decorate with these. I don't think I can paint all of these in this video because there's 12 and that's a lot. So I might have to do a few videos, but that's okay. Um, Yeah, and I think there's like some similar ones. These two look the exact same. That's kind of weird. Wait, all three, are all three of these the same? I don't know. These two are different. Those two are different. Different, di no, this one's the same as those. Different, 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 di different. I don't know. But, um, I'm doing them early, so then I can decorate, um, some of our house with these little plaster things. And now I'm going to unbox it. Alright, first look inside. Beautiful. Alright, now let's actually take it apart. So, here it is. I love that sound. No, I don't. Um, so here are all of them. It's going to sound really weird whenever I take them out. I don't even know if there we go. Oh, they're taped. Why are they taped? Okay, there we go. So, I don't really know how you put them around the house. Maybe just, like, lay it. Or you could, like, prop it up on something. They're really cute. And this is a flower. I just got that one out because that was the one I thought I could get out the easiest. And, um, Easter eggs, flower, chick, I guess. Um, egg, bunny, bunny. Is this? I think this is a chick. Bunny, 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 bunny. So, I am going to paint them relatively simple, but not like super simple. But I do want to add um some like Easter colors so they really match with Easter and they look like Easter decorations. Um, so I'm going to paint, be painting them with mostly like pastels, maybe like pastel yellow, pastel blue, pink, purple. I don't think I'm going to be using this paint though, because most of the time the paints they give you in these kinds of, um, kits are really cheap. So I think I will just, um, use my own acrylic paint. Not really sure. I wonder if it's dried out. Oh, actually it's not. But that does not look like paint. At all. It looks like soap or something. Let's look inside the rest of them. And see if they look like... That one looks the same way. Is this supposed to be a certain kind of paint? The paint on plaster? That one looks normal. This is weird. Normal. And normal. So the only weird ones are the pink and purple. That's really weird. I don't think I'm going to be using these though. But I am going to be using the paintbrushes because these are really nice paintbrushes. I mean, just look at those beautiful paintbrushes. So pretty. And the brush tip are really soft. Just paint them. So um, now I'm going to get everything set up. I just finished setting everything up and I would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I'm pretty close to 200 subscribers and I would really like to hit 200 subscribers soon and I will do a really fun video but I don't actually have it planned yet so let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas for a 200 subscriber special and um also before i start painting i just wanted to say i will be adding white to all of these colors because they are kind of dark and um or not pastel enough for me and this one is perfect because it says spring green and it's springtime so green paint is okay it just fell and um luckily it did not spill 
think the cap was pretty well on there. But anyway, what I was saying is that it's called Spring Green, and it's spring now, so that fits perfectly. So yeah, I'm also going to be picking out the ones I want to paint. I really want to paint this egg. I think I'll probably paint like three of the egg. I think I'll paint the bunny and maybe the flower. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the flower. And I'm going to get the other two out because I might struggle with it a little bit because my nails. So, yeah. So, I have the three set out that I'm going to be painting. The Easter egg, the flower, and then the bunny flower, holding a flower. And this one is so cute. And I also really like both of these as well. And now, I need to start painting them. And I just realized I forgot to get a paint palette, so I'm going to go get that, and now I'm going to go ahead and get started. finished painting it and I think it's really cute I did a pink and then a pink and a yellow mixed and then I um did a yellow center and then the pink and the yellow one I did some like pink splotches in different areas so it's not like perfectly mixed and I will be adding a coat of Mod Podge on all of them at the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned so then you can see them all glossy and shiny and pretty and then um the next one I think I'm gonna do is the egg and by the way, I did have to fix, like, mess-ups and stuff because the pink, I didn't really try to make it perfect because that would have gone quicker and been easier to fix up the mess-ups than have, like, try to make it perfect and not gone back and fix any mess-ups. So, um, yeah. I had to fix up around the white edge and then I'll have to fix around this white edge once I finish painting it. So now I'm going to go ahead and start painting the little egg. The egg was very difficult to paint. It was very detailed and um so I didn't film a whole lot of that and I don't think I can pick it up because it's still kind of wet so I'm just going to zoom in the camera and um yeah that's what it looks like it has a lime green outer band and then on the inside it has yellow dots and then the pink little stripes and i'm sorry if they're a little messy or not perfection because these are pretty difficult to paint because they're so small crevices and they're just not the easiest unless you like went ahead and painted the whole thing one color um so yeah now i'm going to go on to the next one and that is the last one which is the bunny holding a rose <laughs> ignore that right there because um that I had a little paint spill and it didn't come out all the way this is not actually my desk so I don't think it comes off as easily as it would like on a desk um this is actually like a I don't know what you call it like a little platform thingy and basically it um is a cover on my desk and my desk is really 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 like I don't know like it's not messy it's a little cluttered, but it's not really messy. It just has a ton of paint from a lot of use. And um, actually, if you look back to one of my um, older videos, you would see my desk look really nice and clean. And then I started painting a lot. And then paint got all over. And um, yeah, that's why I have this on it. And so hopefully I can get some of this painting dots and stuff from more painting off hopefully soon. 
And if not, I guess I just need to get a new one of these. So anyway, I kind of got sidetracked there. This painting is so cute. I did a light pink for the bunny and then a green, light green stem with a pink rose. And it is just so adorable. I really like it. The eye is a little um scary. I mean, it's like kind of dark for that little bunny. Um, But it's okay. I still really like it. I think it's my favorite. And then here are all of them together. They color... The color scheme is so cute, and it matches so nicely. I will definitely put these as um a, not a pair, but like a, I guess a trio somewhere, because they are so cute, and I really like them. So now I need to add some Mod Podge. I'm using this Mod Podge that I got for $9 at Hobby Lobby. Start with this flower because I want to make sure that those two are all the way dry before I put the Mod Podge on and this one is all nice and dry. So now we're going to go ahead and add the Mod Podge. This is what it looks like if you want to see. I have not used Mod Podge in a while. But, um, there we go. Open. So that's what it looks like inside. All you see is white. So yeah, now I'm going to add the Mod Podge. just did the Mod Podge on all of them and you want to make sure you use an old old older brush that um has had a lot of use and you don't really like anymore because if you forget to clean the brush it is pretty hard to get off the brush once it dries so I would definitely recommend using an older brush I did not I actually used a relatively new brush that I've only used like once so that was not smart, but I'm trying to clean it really well so that it won't get um, the Mod Podge stuck on it. But now I'm just going to wait for these to dry. It'll probably take about maybe 20 minutes for it to fully dry or even less. And um, yeah, I didn't do a super thick coat because I don't want it to take forever to dry. And also I didn't want it to have weird lumps, which it kind of already does because of the paint. It didn't like equally spread because it's kind of hard to on plaster. So now I'm just going to wait and yeah, I'll be back to you. Mod Podge has finished drying and I left it for about one and a half to two hours because I had to do other things. So I went ahead and did that while I was waiting for them to dry. Now they're all fully dried. And this is the first one I did. This is the flower and I really, really like this one. I think it turned out really cute and um, eastery and it's really shiny and I really like it. I only did one coat of Mod Podge because I didn't really think it was necessary to do another coat. But if the paint does start chipping, I will add another coat. And also, I added my signature right there. And then the second one I did was this egg. And it is super cute as well. And then I added the signature on this one as well. And this one I don't think is as shiny as this one because I don't think I did as thick of a coat on this one. But I still really like it. And my favorite part about this one is the um, green outline. I think that looks really cute. And then the last one that I did was the bunny rabbit. And it is so, so cute. I really like this one. And I just think it's so adorable. And I also added my signature on the back with a skinny tip Sharpie. And I'm going to put it in my favorite to least favorite. I really like all of them. But this is my favorite, second favorite, and third favorite. So... Yeah, I really like all of them, and I think they're really all cute and eastery, and I will be putting these somewhere in our house. So, yeah. That is the end of my video. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Also, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!